Welcome to Pre-Math. Here's the word problem. The circumference of a circle exceeds its diameter by 16.8 centimeter. Find the circumference of the circle and also find the area of the circle. And here is our circle with radius r, lowercase r, and the center with a lowercase c. Now let's talk about the circumference of a circle. The simple definition of a circumference of a circle is, is the perimeter of a circle just around this one of this circle as you can see in this diagram. And just keep in your mind that the circumference is represented by uppercase C, whereas the diameter is represented by uppercase D. And always remember that the diameter is twice as the radius. That means diameter is going to be equals to two times the radius R. So therefore, I just wrote down the diameter of a circle is just simply d equals to 2 times r. And the formula for the circumference of a circle is simply c equals to 2 pi r. And finally, the formula for area of a circle is a equals to pi r square. Now let's look at this problem once again. It says the circumference of a circle exceeds its diameter by 16.8 centimeter. That means it is means that the circumference minus the diameter is going to be equal to 16.8 centimeter where C is our circumference and D is our diameter and here is our very first step we are going to find the radius r and we know that thing c minus d equal to 16.8 i am going to just write it down and we know that the c circumference is 2 pi r i am going to replace c by 2 pi r minus d, the diameter, I'm going to replace it by 2r equal to 16.8. As we can see that all these terms are easily divisible by 2, so we are going to divide each and every term by 2 across the board to make our life simple. So that's going to give us pi r minus r equals to this when you divided this one that's going to become 8.4 and here we can see that we can simply uh, factor out r so we are going to get pi minus 1 equals to 8.4 and we know the value of pi is approximately equal to 3.14. Here I am going to replace pi by 3.14 minus 1 equals to 8.4. So far so good. So this could be written as 2.14 r equals to 8.4. 3.14 minus 1 is going to give us 2.14. All right, and now we are going to isolate R, so I'm going to divide both sides by 2.14. So that is going to give us, so therefore our R value is approximately equal to 3.925. So thus our radius turns out to be approximately equal to 3.925 centimeter. And in our step number two, we are going to calculate the circumference of the circle. 
and we know the formula of a circumference which is c equal to 2 pi r and we already figured out r value and we know that the pi is approximately equal to 3.14 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks so c is going to be equal to 2 times pi is 3.14 and we figured out in our very first step r is 3.925 let's go ahead and multiply them out so that is going to give us 24 point so c is going to be approximately equal to 24.65 so thus our circumference turns out to be approximately equal to 24.65 centimeter and now in our final step we are going to calculate the area of the circle and we know that the area of a circle is a equals to pi r square let's go ahead and fill in the blanks a equals to pi in our case is 3.14 let's go ahead and replace that one by 3.14 and radius in our case is 3.925 square all right let's go ahead and simplify furthermore 3.14 when we square this part that is going to give us 15.4056 all right and when we multiply them out that is going to give us approximately equal to area is going to be approximately equal to 48.37 thus our area turns out to be 48.37 centimeter squares Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.